So now that I've recovered from spilling the planner beans in my last video about how I'm no longer using an Erin Condren life planner, you definitely have to check it out if you haven't seen it. I'll link it above. But now that I've officially put that information out into the world, I can talk about my daily planning routine, how I use the planners that I use on a daily basis. So this actually starts the night before, and I love to do my to-do list for the next day, the night before, get it all out on paper, out of my brain, onto the paper, then I can go to sleep. So I use my traveler's notebook. This is an A6 with the peach pattern. This pattern's actually gone away, if not already. So I will link it below if it's still available. But I have a daily hourly insert in here, and that is where I write down everything I wanna get done for the next day. So I do this the night before, before I go to bed, so I can kind of just slough off the day of everything I didn't accomplish because it was probably unproductive and I was too busy watching Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. on Netflix. So I write all that stuff down. So in the morning, when I wake up, drowsy from staying up too late watching Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., I can look at that list and be like, oh yeah, those are all the things that I gotta do. So I tend to carry my, this is a traveler's notebook, that's the name. I tend to carry this around with me throughout the house when I'm doing errands because this has just the stuff that I wanna get done that day. But then I also, if I'm working at a desk or in my bed desk, if you don't know about that bed desk life, that is the way to go. I will use my deluxe monthly. So I have my monthly spread open, usually for the month that I'm in, unless I'm planning out travel, then I'll be in whatever month that is. So I just leave that open next to me so I can see what's coming up, when I have to adjust my like to-do list. If I'm working on a project, I'm like, oh my God, the subscriptions need to go out in five days. I can kind of adjust my daily insert to reflect whatever the master monthly calendar is telling me. So I don't tend to carry both planners around with me all the time. I really like the um, traveler's notebook for that. It's just super easy to open it up and be like, okay, this is what I'm doing. And then adjust on the fly. Like if I get an email, they're like, hey, make sure you get this done by this day. I can easily write that into my insert and have that information without having to clutter the monthly view because the monthly view is really just big picture stuff. I never put any like to-do list stuff in it if I'm like working on orders or if I have to send out a particular email. That does not go in my Erin Condren. That goes in my insert. So the day kind of follows like that. If I haven't looked at my planners in a couple of hours, I'll peek it at lunch or I'll sit with both planners open and do a little big picture planning during a break. That's how I like to take breaks. It's like, okay, what am I gonna do in November? I'm gonna do giveaways, guys. I've, I made that decision yesterday. I wanna do like the month of giveaways. So prepare for November. So I'll use my lunch time or whatever break times I take to think about uh, sales I wanna do, maybe blog posts. And then I write that all down in the notes pages of my monthly or put them on sticky notes for whatever month that I'm interested in. So it's pretty simple. I will put some stickers down near the end of the day if I did anything throughout the day that I wanna document in my monthly. So like maybe I had a bath and I was like, okay, I have a little space in this box for today. I'll put that bath sticker down or I'll put down um, whatever like functional sticker for, if I happen to like go over to a friend's house without like originally planning it, then I'll document that in my monthly. I really like each day to be full of stickers. So I will add things in to make sure I get there. But then once I'm done with that, it's probably like seven or eight o'clock at night, I will go into my memory planner. So this is a horizontal life planner and I'm using it as like a memory journal. So each day I will write down, like right here, what I got up to today. I keep it very simple and straightforward. Like today I went to the post office and did these orders and then we had dinner with some friends and blah, blah, blah. So like really simple. I don't go into like, today I feel like the world is crushing me. You know what you usually write in a diary? I don't know. And then I'll like add a cute little sticker. This is a really fun way to like use up stickers or I'll just put anything. I'll show you like a finished spread. So I'll just put some stickers to kind of represent what we did that day and write out any information. This is also really fun when I have like travel. It's cool to document things. I put this little like birthday card in here and I do this kind of right before bed to just kind of put the day down on paper, be done with the day, and then I'll go back into my traveler's notebook again to write the next day's to-do list. 
So on a daily basis, I don't go too crazy with the planners. I'm not like constantly putting stickers in or anything. And I think that's really attributed to the fact that I did switch out of like my hourly layout into just using the monthly as my main planner. I think that really helps to streamline the process. I'm not constantly like, okay, I gotta finish that day, I gotta finish that day. The planning is more of an assistance now rather than like a daily chore. So I am loving that. But if you wanna see me actually like do the initial planning in my monthly view, let me know in the comments because I can set up like maybe my September view or whatever so you guys can see what that looks like from when I just first start that month to how it looks at the end. Let me know, let me know what you guys are interested in. But that is gonna be it for today's video. That is how I use my planners on a daily basis. The ones that I take with me, the ones that I leave behind. It's a very simple routine and it works really well for me. So I get to enjoy my planners without making them like a project every day. And yeah, that is it. That is the video, woohoo. You made it to the end, go us. And I'll see you guys in my next one, bye.